So here we have my tackle box. Over time, as you develop in your career, get more awards, change units, whatever, uh, you'll start to accumulate a lot of things, a lot of smaller things that go on the uniform. And most of the time, they don't really get thrown away because you never really know what the future holds. So a lot of your senior NCOs or people that have been around for a long time, they'll get a tackle box or some sort of box or bag or something to keep all their things in. Uh, it's usually not this big. Uh, I've got a bunch of extra crap in there that really isn't needed. Um, so I had to get the next size up tackle box just to make sure everything would fit. So we'll take a little dive into the tackle box and see what all's in there. Some of it, again, is a little useless for most people. But again, I'm kind of a pack rat when it comes to uniform things. So let's dive in and see what we have. In the top part of my box, I have all these additional ribbon mounts that I've collected for a while. Uh, again, I don't really see myself losing any awards, so I could probably get rid of all of these. But I just, I just keep them. Um, you'll see some different things with, with your ribbon racks. You can have ribbons flush or up to an eighth inch apart. I like the way they look when they're a little bit more spaced apart. So all these are spaced. And then also you get down to the 11s here, you can stagger them right and they can come in slightly different formats and all that stuff. So I just kind of keep them around in case somebody needs them. I'll always have it there. And again, I'm kind of a pack rat, so it is what it is. Uh, the rest of the space in here, I've got some Air Force crap. I'm not Air Force. It's just from past projects and stuff that I've done. A little razor knife for, you know, cutting this crap off. Uh, that's what's in the top. Into the sides, I've got uh, just some pliers. And I've got these pliers with the ends rounded off. Uh, I use these for mounting the component bars for mechanics badges or driver's badges or weapons qualification if I were to qualify on something else and need to swap it out. So I use that. Uh, on the right hand side it's just got some random tools and stuff in it. Uh, nothing really nothing really important. Uh, on the top here we've got a bunch of ribbons and putting the labels on was a bad idea because now I have different ribbons that go in between these but it is what it is. Let's see what we have here um so i've got a whole lot of certain ribbons it's just some projects i'm working on but i've got them grouped in order of precedence that way if i need to build a rack um just pull one out and do it over time if you're fidgeting with them taking them on and off they'll get frayed they'll get loose and uh maybe get some fingerprints on them or something so i have a couple extra of duplicates of course I've got some unit crests, some branch affiliation crests, things like that, nameplate, qualification badges, and then some additional ribbons in this top rack. In the second, um, just a lot of things that go on the ribbons. I've got a bunch of oak leaf cluster sets, singles, doubles, triples, four, some hourglasses, uh, some numerals for NCOES or the NCOPDRs. Uh, two, three, four oak leaf clusters again. Uh, mobilization devices and then some silver oak leaf clusters just to kind of get ahead of the game. And then I've got a bunch of dammits in the event I would ever need those. And then I have this handy dandy little tool here. Uh, it cost me $10. Basically, you just set the oak leaf cluster inside. Add a drop of super glue to the back and then mash the ribbon onto it and let it dry. And the reason I bought this is if you get a new award or a second or third of the same award, you'll add that oak leaf cluster and then you'll get on Rack Builder and spend $55, $60 to have a brand new rack sent to you. So for this, for 10 bucks, I can always just pop that one ribbon off, add the oak leaf cluster, pop it right back on, and I'm out $10 total. And then uh, just a little bit of time and effort. Got a couple extra things, again, for projects and stuff that I've worked on. Uh, I don't ever see myself needing these, but there they are, just in case. And lastly, in the bottom, I've got just basically uh, some extra spacers, a uh, bow tie, and a couple black ties for the ASU. And that is pretty much all that's in there. I guess on top, I've got a couple things. I've got the super glue to add the... Uh, oak leaf clusters and then over here i've got the measurement tool which is very handy and then a spare set of shoe strings for the dress shoes but 
That's what's in my attack box.